So YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. Um, and in this video, uh, we were just streaming about the highlights uh, from the Ravens game that we just finished watching, uh, where the Ravens picked up a nice, decisive, defensive victory um, over, the, over the Cleveland Browns, uh, which we were all happy about. But then during that live stream, uh, we got the news that um, the Ravens lose Marshall Yonder. Um, the best guard in football uh, for the season. Lost him for the season. Also lose Bam Bradley, somebody that had impressed um, during the preseason. Uh, and he, undrafted rookie, I believe. Undrafted rookie um, who made the team and they lost him to an ACL. So it's like, man, the, the Ravens, we, it's like it's for every good that happens, it's always just so much bad. And yes, it is It is next man up. Marquis, you're right. It is next man up. But it's just tough when the first guy that's up is so great. Not even good, but so great. Marshall Yande, I mean, who, what guard in the league has got the respect and just is, is as good as Marshall Yande? Who, I don't think anybody's even touching him, man. And that's not even... Some people may think that's biased being a Ravens fan, but just ask around the league. Ask your peers. Ask, look look on how they, they rank the top linemen in the league. Look at pro football focus, too. You can look at whatever. Everybody knows Marshawn is the best, man. And when you lose the best, that's a big blow. I, and like I said, I, under, I completely understand next man up. I completely understand at next man up. But Vegan King just said it best. He said ain't no next man up for a future Hall of Famer. Ain't no next man up for a future Hall of Famer. So, it's tough, man. Um, but anyway, this is a sad video, but I'm not going to be a sad excuse of a person. I'm going to introduce myself. Me, I'm Engraven Vids. Um, this is my YouTube channel, Engraven Vids, and I'm a Ravens fan. Um, and being a Ravens fan, it's a lot of good, but it's a lot of bad, too. And a lot of bad involves a lot of these injuries. But despite the injuries, I'm still a Ravens fan. I just saw somebody comment, I'm not a fan of this team anymore. Or they was they coming and they're not a fan of this team anymore. Hey, that's fine. If injury's gonna make you not be a fan of the team anymore, so be it. Uh, we can't control that. But anyway, um, if you're a Ravens fan, make sure you subscribe. Um, and if <laughs> uh, meet you always bring he's real man. That's why I appreciate you being in these streams so much. He say, I mean, we saw the next man out today. How do you think Bergstrom looks? <laughs> so yeah, there's that man. There's that. Um, oh, he said, never mind, I'm coming back now. Okay, Christian, well, glad you glad you joined us again. But it's all good, man. Uh, I know you're just talking out of frustration. It's all good. But um, if you're a Ravens fan, uh, make sure you subscribe. And when you subscribe, just put a Band-Aid in. Just put a Band-Aid in the comment section for us, please. Because we need it. Just put a Band-Aid in. Um, turn your notifications on, too. And after you turn your notifications on, put a Band-Aid on that, too. Because we don't want your notifications to get injured. Because that seems to be all the Ravens can do these days. Injury, injury, injury. Lose Marshall Yonder and Bam Bradley for the season. The season. The season. Not a couple games, but the season. Hmm. That sucks, man. That sucks. So, now, we got the offensive line. They took... That's, that's the biggest hit of the year to the offensive line. The biggest hit of the year to the offensive line. Because, um, like I said, we know Marshall Yonder, man. We know about Marshall Yonder. He's missed a couple games before, but never the whole year. Never the whole year. Defense wins championships. If that was the case, we would have been in the Super Bowl last year. If defense won, if defense wins championships, we would have been in the Super Bowl last year. Because the defense was great last year. They weren't like this, but they were still good. Defense was good last year. Um, yeah, Markel, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's rough, man. It's rough. But um, yeah, if defense won championships still to this day, then yeah, we would uh we would have won the, the 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 championship last year. But it ain't all about defense. If the defense is out there doing their thing and the offense ain't giving no help, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. Yeah, DGP. That's that's true, man. It's a huge blow. Huge blow. Sucks, man.
Sometimes it's true. For example, the Broncos. Well, yeah. They got a little help from their offense, though. They got a little help from their offense. Peyton Manning was nasty that year, but they got a little help here and there. But last year, we got no help here or there or anywhere. We didn't get any help from the offense whatsoever. The offense was just flat out terrible. 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 Um, but here's what it is, man. Here's what it is. Tucker is going to somehow break his leg eating dinner tonight. Oh, Brad. Hopefully that doesn't come true, man. We don't we don't need that. If just no. Cause if Justin Tucker goes out, mm mm. We don't need that. We don't need any kicker injury news. Man. We saw what happened with the with the Raiders. And I think they're back up with well, their new kicker, Mr. Kick, I think. I believe. I'm not hundred percent sure though. But it's crazy, man. Oh, he said too many injuries to be a coincidence, something's up with the training staff. I don't know. I don't I I don't know how he got hurt. Um I don't know if I don't know what kind of in-game injury this is. I don't know if this was due to conditioning or if it was just due to a freak play. But they said he got a, a fractured ankle. Oh, Raiders up 14-7. Did he miss any today? I believe he missed one last week, though. Oh, he got rolled up on. There we go. Okay. David DeCatcher was not far behind on being the best guard, but yes, it is a huge blow. Yeah, you're right, Lewis. You're right, man. So, I mean, we'll see what happens now. Man, you get rolled up. When, when they get rolled up, man, I hate... That's one of the worst injuries, cause when you hit a commentator, when you hit a commentator saying it, um, you hit him say, "Oh man, looks like he got rolled up on." And now Max Williams got a boot on his ankle. <sighs> oh, gosh. Now Max Williams got a boot on his ankle. Now Max Williams got a boot on his ankle. Let's try to go down the list really quick. No, I didn't swear. No. Um, let's try to go down the list really quick. Even though there's no quick list. Tavon Young, Dennis Pitta. Um, you know what? I don't even feel like it anymore. I don't even feel like it anymore. I don't even feel like it anymore. Because that's depressing. That's a depressing list. Because just... At least, yeah, at least we do, we do have Watson. But ah, it's scary, man. We have Watson, we have Boyle, um, but it's crazy because I'm still scared for Boyle, man. Y'all, y'all know how I feel about Nick Boyle. I just he's one suspension away from getting suspended for the whole year, and I I almost expect it. Like when I check these websites and when I when I'm looking up news and stuff, I almost expect it because he's a two time offender. So he already got that rep. Yeah, we got it. We got we got significant injuries. Not only injuries at every position group, but significant injuries at every single position group. Quarterback Flacco with his back. Running back Kenneth Dixon out for the year. Uh, wide receiver who who was hurt? I know Perryman was hurt. He had his hamstring thing going on. Um, tight end Dennis Pitta, Darren Waller with this whole suspension thing. Offensive line Marshall Yonder, Nico Saragusa. Um, then Urschel retired. Um, linebacker, Bam Bradley. Uh, defense, do we have any defensive linemen? No, actually not. Mm. But another linebacker, Albert McClellan, gone for the year. Cornerback, Tavon Young, gone for the year. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. You want to throw the controller across the room? I feel you, man. But these injuries, they just... <sighs> they pile up. Oh, yeah, Alex Lewis on the offensive line. Yeah, Danny Woodhead, running back. See? It's it's so many, you, you just, you almost forget because it's just injury after injury after injury after injury after injury. He said off, the defense going to have to win the Super Bowl for us with pick sixes. So there is Smith. Yeah, he's hurt too. Oh, he said, I'm jumping out the window head first with all these injuries. It's rough, man. Brandon Williams, they said he's fine. They said it's not significant. So that could mean a lot of things. Max injury isn't that serious. I believe he played some time after it. I mean, we'll see. If he's in a walking boot. I did see him. I did see the play where they he did get hit like twice and it, it didn't look good. But he got up and he kept playing. So I don't know, man. I told you Brandon Cole would be great this year. Oh, yeah. I, 
I was one of the few people too who uh, I was glad I was I was glad when we got Brandon Carr. I feel like he was solid, man. He was solid. Like, like I said, he didn't need to be anything special. He didn't need to be great. He just needed to be solid. We needed somebody who's solid and who's who's also healthy. Is Williams out for the year? No, no, they didn't say Brandon Williams out for the year. No, no. He said, no, you guys don't need a Super Bowl. No, we do, man. It's been a long time. Been a long time for Super Bowl. Been a long time for playoffs. Um, oh, the Broncos and Cowboys game is delayed an hour. So that'll give me time to get myself together and also put out a little preview on it, maybe. We'll see, though. Um, mm. As it is, Watt and Tua are out for us. Oh, oh yeah, Watt did get hurt doing that game. I, I forgot about that. Tua, didn't, that's the one that just got the contract, too, right? What's going on with him? Because I know he didn't play today. What happened to him last week? Max Williams looks great. Love how he... Yeah, that's, I, that's what I love about Max Williams. I was hoping he was going to be the starter this year. Even last year, too. But injuries happen, and it's just ugly, man. We have one healthy wide receiver and one tight end there. What happened with Gronk in y'all game? What happened with Gronk in y'all game? Um, if they do get an offensive lineman, it was, it was it's probably going to have to be by a trade. I don't know any free agents out there. Um, it's going to have to be by a trade. It would have to be. Or oh, a groin injury. Oof. We well, had a groin injury. Bicep injury timetable unknown. Mm. Biceps is crazy, man. Ray Lewis had a, uh, was it a bicep or a tricep? Man, he was out for like, what, eight weeks? But he got his deer antler spray on and that healed up. Like, he was fine for the playoffs. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. So the best player for us is out. Yeah, Allen. So somebody else gonna got to have to be that best player now. Now, the offensive line, now from what I did see after Marciano went out, they did a decent job. They weren't, they definitely weren't the best in the world, but they weren't the worst. So they were still opening up some running lanes. Um, pass protection, I mean, they weren't really, the Ravens weren't really focused on passing the ball because they were up. Um, but they did have Flacco, or they had it throughout the game, they had Flacco rolling out the pocket a lot. They had, they had, they had Flacco rolling out the pocket a lot. So it wasn't, the offensive line didn't like, when, when, when Marshall Yonder went out, they didn't crumble anything. But, um, yeah, like you, you're right, they still moved the ball. Um, so yeah, they, they were, they were still solid. So, I mean, all is not lost. It does suck. But all is not lost. Yeah, Flacco did play well. He did. He did. He did his thing. Um, for the interception, like I said, I, I guess it was just a miscommunication. Something happened. Um, oh, yes, that's very true too, Meech. He said, we'll, we'll feel this when we go up against better defensive lines. Next, we got the Jaguars. Another tough game. Another tough game. Enough. Another tough game. A lot of people talk about Nick Mangold. He was hurt a lot last year. I don't know if he's even healthy right now. Who knows? A lot of people have been talking about Nick Mango for a really long time now. Uh, and for you to just come in and change centers, center is such an important position because that's the person, that person touches the ball literally every play. Because um, they got to hike the ball to the quarterback, whether they're in shotgun, whether they're on the center, whatever. They got to hike the ball to the running back, I mean to the quarterback every single time. And if your center is not on point with your quarterback, um, and I've seen it before. I've seen it before. Um, mainly with, um, if I don't know if y'all remember that, uh, Monday night football game. No, Sunday night football game where we played the Jets in Baltimore. I think we had on all black uniforms that game. Um, Sunday night, the same Sunday night football game where Ed Reed, he, he got a sack strip on Mark Sanchez. And um, I think Jared Johnson picked it up. I forgot who. Same game where Ladarius Webb got a pick six um, on Mark Sanchez. Uh, I think Lodi Nada might have. Uh, yeah, was it a Monday night? No, I think it was Sunday night. Well, it, yeah, I think it was Sunday night football. Yeah, it was, it was a Sunday night football game. It was Sunday night football game for sure. Um, but either way, that game, um, the Jets center, their starting center um, had got hurt. Either got hurt or just wasn't playing. Something happened to their starting center. I think they got hurt. But then, no, that wasn't the one where he laid out Keller. That game was a couple years before that. Oh, I love that one. Um, but that game, um, the Jets starting center got taken out for whatever reason. No, it, it was... It was Sunday, yeah, it was Sunday night football. Yeah, there you go. Um, but the, the Jets starting center got taken out. So then when their backup came in, he had thrown, he had hiked the ball and he like sent it over Mark Sanchez's head or something. There was just a miscommunication. So back to what I was saying, with us, if we were to bring in Nick Mangold, which I, I don't really want them to do, but whatever. If we were to bring in Nick Mangold, that changes chemistry. That changes a lot of chemistry like that. 
because he has to come in. He has to learn how to jail with all offensive line. He has to learn what the quarterback likes and what he doesn't like to do. He has to come in and learn all that stuff on the fly. And this is not preseason. These aren't practice games. They're going to have practice sessions, but this is the regular season. So it's time now, man. It's time. It's, he, he can't just come in and, and be like, okay, I'm set. I know what to do. He's got to be learn to be accustomed to the team. He's got to get used to Baltimore like that. Yeah, he does have a veteran role, Eric. You're right. And I know I'm, I know you're probably chilling right now, a little anxious to watch your Cowboys play, so I appreciate you joining us. Like I'm sure you heard already, that game not going to be on for maybe another hour. Um, but with Nick Mangold, if, if he were to come in, I just – and and even with – even with somebody else, the next, the whole next man up thing, I feel like that would even be better than Mango because they're already on the team, they're already used to the team, they've already been in the in in the uh, in the film sessions and whatnot. They've already been there, so it's going to be an easier adjustment to have somebody that's already on the team do it. Um, I still think they bring in somebody else, but we'll see, man. Any guards that'll be cheap for a trade? I can't think of any off the top of my head. I don't know. He said on Tuesday, Raven signed center Jeremy Zuda. <sighs> Would you rather have Zuda or Mangold? Y'all asking me tough questions, man. Oh, Redskins games? Oh, yeah, that's the 4 o'clock game. The 4 o'clock games wasn't really nothing today. They weren't really games that you look forward to, um, except the Cowboys and the Broncos. That's supposed to be at 4.30, but that got delayed. So, yes. Uh, it's it's five. It's about five fifteen now. Hey, DGP, if you, I know, I know they say you super tall, man. You wanna go help help the Ravens? Go help us, man. Go. <laughs> say leave Zuda at home. Um. Yeah, Jeremy Zuda would. Ah, he just gets pushed back too much, man. He ain't strong enough. So no. Um. I would rather have the unknown with Nick Mango than Jeremy Zuda at this point. It's a reason. Well, we traded him to San Francisco for like a six-round pick. It's a reason why San Francisco released him after they gave up a draft pick uh, to us for him. There's a reason that we signed him in the offseason when our offensive line was decimated with injuries and he still got cut. There's a reason for those things. So for those reasons, no, he can stay exactly where he is. He can stay exactly where he is. Hey, he might be DGP. Let me Go try out, man. We could use the help. No, do rain delays on fun, but it's been worse when you're down on the scoreboard. And, and it, yeah, that's true. That is true. It's like you gotta, yeah. That is that is very true. You're right. The NFL has fixed the big markets for the Cowboys and Rams. Cowboys, yes. Rams, no. And fixed, yes. Um, what do Ravens have to do now? Shot for offensive linemen or practice? <sighs> I say you gotta promote from within. Take that risk on Mango. Ah, yeah, could be. They they just might. They just might. Uh, pay. Oh, Patriots. Jimmy Graham is down in Seattle now. That's not good at all. Um, let me. You know what? Let me watch these games, man. And let's all watch these games. Um, who knows? What if Patriots try to trade a wide receiver to Ravens? Um, or from the Ravens and trade for an offensive lineman? What if they trade for Chris Moore? Who knows? And they give us an offensive lineman. We give them Chris Moore. And they give us a draft pick, too. Beats me. So, never know. Anyway, appreciate y'all, man. Thank you. Do I have a stream while watching the games? No. I can't take that copyright risk. Because if the NFL picks up the audio of their footage on this stream, nah, he said no. He said no one's trading for Chris Moore. Yeah, you're right, man. I just, I don't know, man. We should get him Chris Matthews. I will get him Chris Moore before Chris Matthews, if they were to take him. Um, but anyway... Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Sad stream, but news is news, man. He'll drop the pin. <laughs> Stupid, man. Y'all look crazy. All right, man. Appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching this. Um, sorry it was not news that we all like to see, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Make sure you leave a like on the video if you haven't done so already. Um, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Turn the notifications on so you don't miss any of these. And we out, man. We'll see you after the Cowboys and Broncos game.